Okay, so hello guys and girls, how are you going? Mark Hummer here. We're doing a little video today about camera equipment, particularly about carrying things safely so you don't injure yourself, your shoulders, your hands, your wrists, because you know, these uh, pieces of equipment here, they're beautiful like gear to use, but they're extremely heavy very often. Mirrorless or not, the thing is that they just weigh a lot with the big lenses on them. And if you're carrying a heavy lens around like the 70 to 200, or maybe a 500 Prime for wildlife, it's quite weighty. And it's not hard to injure yourself with a whole day of holding that up a Above your head. So just let me illustrate what I've done to solve this problem and why I think it's such a great idea. Now the thing I bought is a vest. It's a little vest that uh, contains all the cameras on your body and nice and safe and secure to your torso. The brand is Cotton Carrier. Let me illustrate it for you. I have it here. You can see the little brand icon there. Cotton Carrier is the brand. Now it's not really important what brand, but what I am encouraging you to do is buy the best possible brand you can. Because what it's all about is not the price, it's about the clips, the buckles, the mounting system, etc. that they actually work when you need them to, and that they're safe and not going to just have your camera drop off them because it was a cheap, crappy build. So buy something of a decent brand. The couple of hundred dollars you spend here could very well save you thousands of dollars worth of camera equipment. So it's well worth a couple of extra dollars. Now, the vest goes on quite simply. Let me see if I can put this on without making a complete fool of myself. It slips on quite easily. It's not a big deal at all. Just clip it in with the buckle there. Make sure the buckle is the right way around. There we go. And I'm all set to go now. I'm quite comfortable. So here we go. You can see it fits onto your torso. It's not pulling anywhere on your shoulders or arms or wrists or something. So, you know, the body is taking all the weight and that's exactly what you want it to do. It's very much like the same idea as a backpack, except the brilliance of this one is instead of a backpack where everything's behind you and you can't access anything, here everything is right in front of you and it's ready to go. So let's say a scenario like are you doing a wedding or a festival or you know you're out and about uh, taking wildlife photos and you don't want to miss an opportunity you see something you want to power you want to photo it you don't have to put a camera bag down and pull everything out and assemble it by the time you've got it ready to go the creature's already gone or that moment you've missed it so let me just illustrate how it all comes together so here's the uh, vest most of the gear is going to be directly to your front now before i put a camera on i'm just going to illustrate this bag i have now I think the bag is actually one of the more important accessories to be honest with you, even above and beyond uh, the cameras. Why is that I'm saying that? Well, I'm just going to try and clip it on here, see if I can get that on safe, I have. That's great. Now I'm just going to clip this one on here, you notice they have all these little mounts and clips for you, makes it very secure. Now what's the big deal about the bag? Well the bag is something I'll purchase separately, this doesn't come with a cotton carrier uh, vest, but it, most people have a small camera bag. And the beauty of this is you can have things that uh, accessories such as, for example, uh, speed light. So if you want to carry a speed light with you, or a bit of extra light in the subject, or a little diffuser, you can. Of course you've got room in these zip pockets and so on for your wallet and keys and phone, all sorts of accessories, maybe even a few spare batteries. And you know, you've got some side pockets as well for rags and whatever you may need. So I think the bag's a cool item. But the bag's also important for another reason, and that is balance. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here's uh, the camera that most people like to use when they're doing, say, wedding photography. It's a 70 to 200, very versatile lens, but it's quite a bit weighty. So how do you carry such a thing as this in a way that's safe? Well, Cotton Carrier have this brilliant little system, little rig that you can simply mount, this little mount, to the bottom of the camera. I have it here on my small rig mount, which I'll give pictures up later and show you how it all comes together and why. But the beauty of this is I love the small rig because it gives me a gripping handle, it uh, gives me mounting options with the Swiss Arco type style grips, and I find that really convenient. So I like to leave that on and just put this on as an accessory. Now you might say, well aren't you hampering the Swiss mount down here with that? You are, but I have a workaround. Let me get back to that a little later on. You'll see what I'm talking about. But right now this little disc fits into this little slot and makes everything very safe. So I'll just illustrate how that works. Now you don't put the camera in straight down. You put it on a 90 degree angle. Slot it in, little slot in here, and as you twist it around, that locks it in place. So now, you can't get it out if you wanted to. You jump up and down, there's no way that's coming out. That's very secure. To get it out again, 90 degree angle and up. How quick and easy was that? So it's not difficult at all to mount or put in. You just gotta get it to the right angle and slot it down and there you are, the camera's always accessible. You never forget where you left your camera too because pretty hard not to notice it there in front. It's not awkward when you're walking around, but what it does provide for you is the opportunity to have your hands free. And that's really important. 
You know, if you're walking upstairs and you need to use the railing or you're climbing around rocks and you want to grab onto a tree to support yourself in the wilderness, it's nice to have your hands free. So that's why I really like the system. The second safety factor is they have these little straps. These little straps mount on the uh, corner of your camera here. Let's just see if I can get this on. There we go. And of course that gives you an extra layer of security. So now, for example, if I was to drop the camera, it doesn't go to the ground. This strap is holding it safely and securely for me, and I don't have to worry about breaking it. It's also great for when people are trying to steal your camera off you. You know, they can't get it off you because it's permanently attached to your body. So just added a bit of a security there. So here we have that together. It looks pretty good, hey? So here I have, of course, the, now I was just saying, I have the 24 to 70. Uh, my chest is quite comfortable. But I also have a second camera here. Now, we have a second mount here as well. So it means by using another one of these little mounts on the bottom here that they supply, quick lock, and that's in safe. That can't come off until, again, 90 degree angle and up, 90 degree angle and down, very quick. You can almost think of yourself as a old oh, Western quick draw, you know? Try and get it in there as quick and possible as you like. It does come in very quickly. It takes a little bit of practice. It's just a slight getting the uh, angle right. But once you have, it's very safe and locked into position. Of course, you have another safety strap, which is a great backup tool. Clip that in, and of course, even if the camera comes out and you drop it, again, that's going to hold it for you. So you don't have to have any fear of breaking your expensive equipment. So there we go, all safe. And you see the balance factor now. You've got your core weight in the front if you happen to have a big lens. You have your secondary camera here for wide angles, for example, and you have your gear, and everything's like a three-way balance, perfect triangle, very safe and comfortable. So you can walk around in this all day, you know, and you're not going to have to worry about your hands not being free to climb or use uh, carry something. Let's say you want to carry a monopod with, if you want to carry a monopod with you, you can now because you've got to bare hands. So I just uh, thought I'd run you through that and show you how awesome it is, and I think it's a really safe and practical system to save yourself uh, getting any sort of an injury. So as you can see, it's a very safe system and I'm really, uh, I really think it's a very practical and, and great idea. So I like a good idea. If I see something that's a bit ingenious, I'm going to support it and 100% get behind it. You now, of course, I'm going to explain to you I did purchase this out of my own money from eBay. I saw it uh, secondhand, really cheap, so I snatched it up. Uh, I got a bit of a bargain, so I'm happy with that. It was in mint condition. I think someone got it as a present for Christmas and just never used it. So uh, I snatched that up and uh, good, good on me. His loss is my gain. But uh, regardless of all that, the point of the line is uh, it's not sponsored in any way. I'm not uh, trying to flog this off to you or sell it in any way. I don't care if you buy one or not. It doesn't help me in any way. But I've purchased it and I want to help you. And if I see something that I think is safe and, and sensible and maybe a good option to consider depending on your use scenario, well, in my use scenario, this is really cool. Now, uh, at the moment, I've got a 70 to 200 illustrating the large lens. I could very well have a teleconverter on this as well, make it up to 400 long. Uh, millimeters wise and uh, take some great wildlife shots but if you had a 400 or 5 or 600 mil prime lens uh, you could still use this setup it'll take any weight you put on it it's just a matter of how much weight you want to carry around with your legs because at least it's all supported on your back and you're not going to get hurt so what I want to now explain to you now is I was going to illustrate why the tripod is here and how I mount this on a tripod because you just this is I'll lighten myself up a bit I'll just disconnect these as best I can hopefully I can do this quickly and safely and simple and jiggle that off if I can. Oh yeah, there we go. It's designed to be safe and on, not designed to get off. So that's very good. There we go, that's safe now. So I'll just disconnect them so I can illustrate the tripod situation. I'll leave the bag on, that doesn't bother me at all. This has been just run you through the tripod arrangement and how it made a workaround about having that mount on that might have been rather inconvenient. So here what I'm gonna do now is I just put this forward little tripod, make it uh, in a position here where I can access it. I get my uh, mirrorless camera with my 24 to 70 on it. I can't mount it like this as you can see because of the bracket, but that doesn't matter to me. I don't need to remove it. I can. I have a little Allen key here, which I could easily remove the little screw, but I don't need to remove it. I found a workaround. And the workaround is as simple as this. So I just screw now this onto the Arca Swiss mount. It's an L bracket, of course, so it makes it nice and safe. And as you can see now, I can take any manner of uh, portrait photo I should ever wish to take. And that's quite great, isn't it? I like that. It's a brilliant little setup. But you might say, all right, you want to take a horizontal shot. You know, I want to take a landscape photo. Well, of course, being a ball head, of course, you can do that. Just bring it to the side. Get it into a position. Lock it in. And once everything is actually locked, 
Got to remember what I've uh, unlocked here to make it safe. There we go. Make sure everything's firm. And there you have it. You've got it perfectly safe. I can uh, use this in any way I like as a uh, landscape photography shot now. So don't think you're limited just because that bracket was on it and you can't you know, use it for video. I could use this perfectly fine for video now. All I'm going to do is recommend, as I always do, and I highly recommend this, is always have a little weighted bag with you, just to make that a little bit more secure, so it's a bit uh, equalized in weight distribution, won't topple over. Of course, having a leg out to the side with the cameras, that's also a clever option as well to stop it toppling. I'm not saying this is the perfect ideal situation, but it works, it's a workaround, and it saves me having to take the brackets on and off and maybe even lose them somewhere. So simply with that uh, small rig L bracket, it's given me a lot of scope and options, and I'm really impressed with it. So I'm really impressed with this, as I said, I think it's a terrific system. Uh, gives me a lot of versatility, very easy to manipulate with any sort of a ball head. I mean, I, I understand that this is like a rather fancy combination video uh, ball head, and it's quite expensive, but it doesn't matter. I have other ball heads. I've used them and tried them out, and they work just as well. So just buy a sturdy one, because you are got a bit of a weighty camera combination up there. You don't want anything too light and flimsy. But uh, either way, you can get a good workaround system. You could use this with a monopod as well, but it works perfectly well with this um, modest light tripod, which you could carry around with you if you had to. So as a fix for doing your photos and video, and when you want a tripod, this bracket, this bracket here as I'm illustrating, is not a hindrance. There is a simple fix, and that is simply use an L bracket on your small rig, and then you've got a great combination of camera. Of course, uh, dismantling it is a few seconds. One little screw like that, and it's all gone. And then if I want to get back to this system here, and carrying it around instead of using a tripod, I can. There we go. So it's in there, I'm very comfortable, secure. I want to take photos. I've got my L bracket. I love being able to use both hands with the L bracket grip. The L bracket is also great because you get your fingers through it and you can really secure the fact that you're not going to drop the camera. So apart from the fact that I would, have, if you were, you have the straps of course on your bracket, you would simply fit that and make that nice and safe. It's actually quite tricky to do uh, upside down and back to front like that. But once it's on, it's on for good and it's quite secure and safe. And again, as I said, you don't have to worry about dropping your camera. So highly recommended piece of equipment. I like this uh, setup, I just wanted to share the fact that I think it's great for your body. Anything you can do to protect yourself, I mean I'm not getting any younger, I'm a little bit older now. I've had that friend in New South Wales uh, that's injured his shoulder recently from carrying large cameras around all day. And you know, particularly when you're holding like a, a 400mm prime or something like that up above your head level, you know, trying to take photos of, in the sky of birds, that's a lot of weight over a long period of time. So anything you can do to relieve yourself in between those shots is a great suggestion, rather than just carry it in your hands or have a neck strap jerking your neck and shoulder all day long. Support yourself with your torso and you can take photos and walk around all day in comfort.